How's it going, everyone? Welcome to another episode of I Am Zane Film Class. I am your host, Zane. And today we're gonna be talking about something a little bit different. You ever felt like quitting YouTube or just any creative venture such as like Instagram or like Twitter because you felt like you weren't good enough? Yeah, I've been there too. So this episode is really to discuss like how to break out of it and what you might be going through in that process. In this episode, I wanna talk about why I almost quit and some of the roadblocks that I have faced while creating this YouTube channel. So let's get into it. First. Up, here's five reasons why people, myself included, often stop posting content. Maybe you could relate to one or more of these. First one is feeling like a fraud. You start comparing yourself to others and you don't feel like you measure up to what they are, especially since they had many years or maybe they had a short amount of time and they got viral real quick. You think, who am I to share my ideas? And it's tough when you don't see yourself as an expert. Two the fear of judgment. You start worrying about what people say or how they react. It can be really paralyzing. The thought of negative feedback or just ridicule might just be enough to make you second guess everything. The lack of instant success. When the views and subscribers don't roll in right away, it can really be disheartening. Overwhelming perfectionism. Trying to make everything perfect before posting can lead to never posting it at all. You're constantly just tweaking and never hitting that publish button. Just post it, but you just don't because it's not perfect enough. And reason number five, people just feel burnt out lack of inspiration. Creating content that takes a lot of energy and creativity when you're exhausted or uninspired, it can easily cause you to just give up. Here's some good news. Overcoming imposter syndrome and sticking with it is possible. Here are five tips to help you break out of that self-doubt so you can keep on creating. Tip number one, recognize your achievement. Take a moment to look back at what you achieved no matter how small. Celebrating these small wins can really help you build your confidence. So if you post a video and it actually gets published, you celebrate, enjoy yourself, take yourself out to get a cup of coffee or maybe treat yourself to like some food or ice cream or whatever, whatever it is excite you, maybe take yourself out to a movie. Give yourself some celebration. Tip number two, embrace the learning curve. Understand that everyone starts somewhere. Mistakes and learning is just all part of the journey and it's okay to not be perfect. It's okay to fail. Actually, you wanna fail forward because the more you fail, the more you know what you need to improve on. Tip number three, surround yourself with supporting people. Find a community or friends to uplift you and encourage you. Their support can help you make a huge difference in your motivation, especially if you network with other creatives such as yourself because they might be going through the same rut as you and they might give you some insight on how to get out of it. They might say stuff like, I can't wait until next week until you post that video. Like little stuff like that will be like, you know what? I'm gonna really put my foot into this episode. You wanna encourage them as much as they encourage you. So keep that in mind. Tip number four, set realistic goals. Instead of aiming for perfection, set achievable goals that keep you moving forward. Focus on the progress rather than the perfection. So if you could only put together a video that's like four minutes or eight minutes, then just do that. You don't have to match what other popular YouTube channels are doing. Just focus on what you can actually do. And then once you get good at that, then you can expand more or maybe make it less. Don't try to match yourself with other people. And tip number five, keep creating no matter what. Sometimes the best way to combat imposter syndrome is to keep pushing through. The more you create, the more you'll improve and gain some confidence. It's okay that your video is not gonna get like over 20 views or a thousand views. It's perfectly fine. Just keep on pumping out the content and learn in that process. How I do it is I create like a journal to myself. Like when I drop these videos, it's a reminder to myself, but it also is like a public visual journal for everyone else to learn as well. Before we wrap up this video, I have an important question for you. Have you ever felt like a fraud when creating content? Share your experience in the comments below so other people can see. Maybe you have a story that they can relate to that will help them currently get out of a situation such as imposter syndrome. Let's learn from each other. And that wraps it up. 
Just be sure to trust yourself in creating content that you truly believe will be useful to your audience. Don't think about what others are doing. Just focus on what you want to do. And on that note, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content. Until next time, keep creating, stay inspired, and I'll see you next week.